Okay, for this uh, Rex DIY, today I'm going to show you how to uh, release the uh, gas door on a Mark V series uh, Volkswagen Jetta Passat. And uh, I'm in the process of replacing the uh, driver's side uh, window motor and computer little thing. And so none of that's working right now. So. We're running low on gas and I couldn't find anyone that actually had a good description online of what to do. So I had to do a couple things. First I had to get in the trunk through the uh, back there and uh, release the trunk release so I could actually get in the trunk because I couldn't even do that. So in here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can show it there. So this is on the, on the right side where the fuel door is. And for ours, we have this little 12 volt uh, convenient mod hook up there, and it's right behind here. So there's a couple. Uh, I'll do my best to show them here. There's a, where a little cover goes, and this is all it is, and it just threads on there, so you can unthread it. I was able to do it with my fingers, and there's one more in the back here too. That's all I had on this one. I don't know if there's any more generally. And uh, so, what you got to do, once you pull that, I'm going to pull it away here. There's some other clips here. You can see on the side, I already pulled this away and I thought I'd show you guys. So, this little clip fell down, so I got to grab that one. But there's the other clip. So, it's kind of hard to pull at first, but once you pull it off, and then also got the light disconnected there already. Uh, but you just kind of pull it back. And then right behind here, see that's where the, uh, the gas door is. And uh, I don't have a light on my camera per se, but we'll get a light back here maybe. Let's see if this works. Um, you see that's the uh, trunk rod right there going into the release. I get my hand back here without uh, if you get your finger on that and pull it. You know, kind of pull it hard and that releases it. Basically you can hear the actuator there. You know, it'll go back. And uh, it takes and now we're gonna assess our gas filter. So, what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to hook up a, uh, a release that's actually on the outside here of the, pl the plastic. And uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. How to do that. So that way you don't have to pull back this liner anymore. Okay, so what I got here is some... Uh, I'll kind of curl it up so you can actually see it. It's just some uh, string line. This is actually used for... Uh, duck cutting floats. It's kind of a waxed line. It's also called a tarred, tarred line. And uh, it, this stuff's really strong and I like it because it uh, holds up well to abrasion and uh, stuff like that. And then what I also have is just a white loop uh, little strap. Uh, that's going to be our uh, pole. So, so again, here what we got and it's right, you know, in this general section. So what I'm gonna do is put it right in, right in here. And uh, it's too bad that Volkswagen just didn't do this, but I mean, of course, it's an added expense. So somewhere in this vicinity, we're gonna pop a little hole, and then uh, thread this through, and then tie that. So I'll pull it back. See if I can get the right spot lined up, and kind of go from there. See if I can get this set up on something so you guys can actually see what the heck I'm doing. That's not going to work, is it? I just can't get the angle. Let's try that. 
better. I'm just gonna go with that and see. at 90 on that and uh, so what I do first is uh, just create a, a loop on this thing that will cinch down so I got that and I'll put my uh, my line around, feed that through there, and then pull that, and that will tighten that down. And I'm going to do it right on the 90, so it doesn't slip back towards the. Uh, unfortunately, it's just not a good way to show this. So I tied this, or I cut this line extra long, so I'm actually going to feed it back. This works. I don't know if this will work. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't done it yet. Okay, so I got it looped around there. Loop it on here. And uh, I guess I need one of those GoPro cams I can attach to my head so you guys can see. But uh, maybe what I'll do is like this. Oh, I got it looped around there. Can't really see, but. I put it back through and I tighten that loop down. And then I'm just gonna uh, tighten it down from there. Pull on the line. And as it goes down, I'm gonna make sure it stays on that on that bend. It's working great. I can feel it. Here I'm pulling on it, I'm releasing it. Okay, and just based on where it's at, okay, so, I think I found our spot, so I got the line extra long here, I'll take my knife and see what we've got for Got a little all thing on there. I'm just gonna use that to poke a little hole. Just in the top corner. And uh can you find where the hole went. It's really hard to see here. Right in the corner. There we go. Uh, now the trick's gonna be to try to get that <laughs> that line back through there. Let's see if we can. Might take a little bit. Could have been easier just to feed it through there to begin with, but let's see. A little more. Of course, you could always drill a hole or something, but I had it and I just dropped it. to see now you guys probably can't see this but uh, it seems like this is the hardest part of the whole thing Open up 
pretty good size hole, but let's see if we get that spring in there. all this back up. I'm going to put all the clips back on and, and uh, push all this back in. I'm going to find the clip that I dropped here. So we got the, the line in there. Oh, it's just kind of coming out of the corner. We'll just test it here. Perfect. Try that again. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this off to our little loop. Perfect. Okay. Got the excess. Well, there we go. Now in the trunk, we have our emergency fuel release. Cap release, so just take that and pull that. No, pop that. And we'll just give her a test here. Pull this up, test it one more time. Sorry about the camera, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty terrible video. I know. And she's so we're good to go. And that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.